Welcome to Creature Features. Right now I'm exploring an abandoned road in the backcountry of West Virginia, and I'm searching for one of this state's most common amphibians, the Fowler's Toad. And I have a feeling with a little bit of searching and just a little bit of luck, there's a really good chance we're gonna find one. Here we go. Oh, this is perfect. All of that wetland area is perfect for toad breeding. And the spring, you'll find males and females in these pockets of water. They're usually breeding at night. And during the day, they're hiding up in the grasses and the underbrush. So I have a feeling this is probably a great place to start looking. Here's another pocket of water. Ooh, look at this. Yes, tadpoles, check it out. Those are definitely toad tadpoles. Wow. Well, like I said, where you find the tadpoles, you're definitely gonna find the toads. We must be close. This is definitely a good area to start exploring. There's a toad. I knew we'd eventually find one. Gotcha. Okay, let's talk toads. Okay, here we go. Five things that you probably didn't know about the Fowler's Toad. Now, when you look at the small amphibian, you may be saying to yourselves, well, it looks a lot like an American toad. And both species are incredibly common in the Eastern United States. But the way to tell the difference between a Fowler's and an American toad is the distinct design. Now, the Fowler's Toad has a very unique V-shaped pattern that runs down the dorsal length of its body. You'll also notice that it doesn't have large warts on its hind legs. The American toad has a more speckled patterning, and it also has those large warts on its back legs. So that's how basically you can tell the difference. Number two, while they are without question adorable and for the most part safe to interact with, all toads are technically poisonous. Now that poison is stored in a gland known as the paratoid gland right behind the eye and above the ear. A poison can be secreted from that gland or from pores that run down the length of the toad's body. That poison is used as a deterrent to predators. While it can be toxic to some species, it's not necessarily lethal to humans, which means they are safe to catch. But if you do admire a toad, I always recommend that you wash your hands afterwards because those toxins can be slightly irritating to the skin. Number three, toads are aggressive predators and they will eat pretty much anything they come across that can fit in their mouths. Insects, arachnids, worms, but they specialize in seeking out beetles. I'm talking about the bugs, not the relatively famous musicians. Number four, the females generally tend to be bigger than the males. And given the size of this toad, I'm guessing it's a male. Now during breeding season, the females will specifically choose the males that they mate with based on their distinct call, which means that if you're a gentleman toad and you're looking for a romantic date, the better you are at singing, the better the chances you'll find your soulmate. Number five, during breeding season, males and females will gather together in pools of water, where the females are capable of laying up to 10,000 eggs. After the males fertilize those eggs, they eventually hatch into tadpoles, and after several weeks, metamorphosize into teeny tiny toads. And there you have it, five things that you likely didn't know about the Fowler's Toad. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next Creature Feature. Hey Coyote Pack, if you thought this creature was fascinating, make sure to subscribe and join memberships so you can join me and the crew on the next Creature Feature.